Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Spines TV. I'm DeAndre Tiny. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Thursday, March 5th, 2020. Now, let's go to Amari to see what happened today in history. Thank you, DeAndre. Today is March 5th, which is also known as National Cheese Doodle Day. Now let's go to Jesse Yelp to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Amari. Today, for lunch, we have chicken alfredo pasta, barbecue chicken, mixed vegetables, sliced apples, and your choice of milk. Bon appetit. Now back to DeAndre. Thank you, Jessio. That sounds delicious. In school news, the yearbook early bird sale is available from now until March 13th. You can purchase it on my school books for $30. After March 13th, the price goes up to $40. Additionally, for grades K through first, this week is Dr. Seuss week. Tomorrow is Green Eggs and Ham Day, so don't wear blue or any other except for green. And also, next week is March 11th, so don't forget to tell your parents that it's also Family Night. Now, let's go to weather with Ernst. Thank you, DeAndre. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 93 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Now, let's go back to DeAndre. Thank you, Ernst. On admin announcements, teachers, please be at your door to welcome your scholars in at 7.35 a.m. Attendance must be taken at 8.30 a.m. So lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide your scholars with positive fair points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively at kindly towards others. Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Clarge, Ms. Richardson, Ms. Miraz, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Vasquez, Ms. Anaya, Mr. Santiago, Ms. Miguel, Ms. Menes, you had the correct answer to a trivia question, which was, how many soccer players should each team have on the field at the start of each match? The correct answer to a trivia question was 11. Now, for today's trivia, who was often called the father of the computer? I repeat, who was often called the father of the computer? Teachers, send me your answers to pinestarrenaissance at gmail.com. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.